Hi and welcome back to my channel at Oso Victoria and I'm going to go over what sold from June 8th to the 15th. I sold 13 items on Etsy, Poshmark and eBay so let me go over the gross, the nets, the fees and the cost of goods right here. So the gross was $322.74, the net was $239.45, the fees or $69.94 and the cost of goods was $13.35. So I had a very low cost of goods because of some of the stuff was given to me and or I picked it up at an estate sale where I do bulk buys and I think one, one item is from the bins. So. Okay, so let me get started here. Uh, like, subscribe if you like to see uh, what sold videos or haul videos. I do those and I also do some adventure videos of here in Southern Oregon. And so on the 8th in my eBay shop, I sold this Listen Company khaki mini skirt. I sold it for $15, cost me a dollar. I picked it up from the neighbors. I listed it September last year. No, I listed it February of this year. I picked it up September last year and I listed it February of this year. So it took four months to sell or less than four months to sell. And also on the 8th of my Etsy Oso Victoria, I sold this Vacation Land White Terry Beach set. Um, it cost me 42 cents from a yard sale here in town back in 2011. I must have just uh, piled a bunch of stuff and got a bulk offer for what I was piling up at the short sale. So anyway, yeah, I picked it up in May of 2011, but I did not list it until uh, June 2nd of this year. So it just took about five, six days for it to sell. I sold it for $72, cost me about 42 cents. And also on the 8th, I, in my Etsy shop, I sold this James Knob by Dalton blue stripe top. It was a polyester, double polyester. Sold it for $28. I uh, also picked that up at an estate sale in a bulk buy. So it cost about 83 cents. I picked it up in 2018. I listed it in May of 2018. So it took a couple of years to sell in my Etsy shop. And also on the 8th of my eBay, I sold this Cripple Creek and Victor Gold Mining Company hat. It was really cool. I paid a dollar for it at a senior center in the town on the way to the coast. I sold it for $19.99. And so I will stop at this senior center. I sold several things that I picked up at this senior center. I picked this up in January of this year and listed it in March. So it took three months to sell. So it's like when we go through the valley, across the river, over the mountain, through another valley, through another, across another river, through the redwoods, to the coast. That's our, that's how we get to the coast. It's, it, the coast is only 60 miles as the bird flies, but it takes about an hour and a half or two hours to get there down the freeway and up and around. And anyway, through the redwoods is always a great trip. <laughs> every time we go to the coast but I like to stop at this thrift store um, they they do offer some great deals there and on the 11th in Poshmark I sold the Celine rubbery shoes for nine dollars I was doing a sale in my Poshmark closet so the next few items are sale sale items um, I can't I don't know how the last name or the name of those shoes are they might be from Korea these were given to me by my son-in-law who lives in Corvallis and Corvallis is a university town uh, with the beavers. I'm a duck fan, but anyway. Um, so I think he's given me quite a few items that seem to be from Korea. So I would just assume it's the student population there that he gets these from. Anyway, he gave them to me in 2019. I listed them on 2020, March of 2020. So it took over a year, a year and three months for these to sell. And then also on Poshmark on the 11th, I sold this Victoria's Secret Purple Kimono for $17. Um, it was given to me by my daughter and I had listed that in October of 2020. So that's six, seven, eight, nine months to sell that. 
and also Poshmark, also Victoria on Poshmark on the 11th. I sold this Arizona Jean Tankini top for nine dollars this was given to me by my daughter so no cost of goods there and I listed that in April of this year so it took two months to sell and also on the 11th Poshmark once again a sale I sold this grand and green uh, blue a cat a cat is the name of the print uh, blouse for $18 I did pick this up at the Goodwill for four dollars and 49 cents back in 2019 and listed it also in 2019 so that took almost a year to sell not quite but almost a year but I was looking for labels at that time because I was fairly new to listing on Poshmark um, I don't I still look for labels um, as I learn about them so I'm learning a little bit more about labels and that because I I've been a vintage seller for over 10 years and a Poshmark seller for the last since January 2019 I've been on eBay for over for 10 years also but I had stopped selling there until I started selling on Poshmark yeah two years ago okay so also on the 11th on my eBay is my eBay is Victoria also Victoria and I'll put that up when the final sales on each store. Um, is a Zara Rat, if I'm saying that right, Matterhorn t-shirt from Switzerland. And I sold that for $16.96. Probably an offer to a watcher. Um, it was given to me by my daughter uh, last year and I listed it February this year so that took four months to sell. And then on the 12th I sold this VHO men's Hawaiian black print shirt. That's the label VHO for $15.95 and I've seen these on Amazon for kind of about that price um, so I thought I'd just hey why not just put it out there and see if anybody's interested I haven't I didn't see that exact style but pretty close and so I did pick this up for two dollars and fifty cents at Miranda's store in Eureka California this spring and I listed it in May and so it took about a month to sell and let's see also on the 12th in my eBay I sold this John Jones this Jones New York denim capris uh, they were a size large for $15.99 and I also picked those up at, for a dollar at my neighbor's yard sale last year and listed in March of this year so it took three months for those to sell and then I went on Etsy on the 13th I sold the 70s mint green JC Penney town craft shirt a men's shirt for $38 it cost about a dollar 23 in one of my bulk buys from an estate sale last year and I listed it in September of last year so it took a while to sell on Etsy but it went to Switzerland and let's see the last nothing on the 14th and the last thing on the 15th that sold was this black vintage kimono with this white embroidery and I tried with Google Lens and everything to find out what that white embroidery what it was saying what the words meant but I never found it I was thinking about taking it to a Japanese restaurant and asking somebody there if they knew what that said but I never did so anyway I sold it for $46 and I did pick this up at the Goodwill bins for 88 cents so it's one of those bulk things to weigh everything out and this is what it weighed and I don't know what uh, that was back in 2017 uh, in March of 2017 that I went to the bins and and bought this and end up costing 88 cents when you calculate everything you bought by the pound and I don't know when I listed it it's been listed uh, on my Etsy shop probably for a couple of years also so anyway that's it for that so let me let tell you what is in each shop so in my Etsy also Victoria shop I sold four items for a total of $184 and in my Poshmark also Victoria shop I sold four items for a total of $53 and in my eBay Victoria also Victoria store I sold five items for $86.27 so for the four items Poshmark I 
sold the most in price wise um, and then eBay and then Poshmark so that's it for that week of what sold so if you like what sold like I said just uh, give me a subscribe and then go down to the playlist and you'll see all the what so solds so you'll see what kind of vintage things have been selling for me modern stuff on eBay I also sell collectibles but nothing sold that week in the collectible department but that's a different shop on my Etsy um, and I cover that in my other what sold videos so hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching bye